tell me Nessa Barrett got exposed for supporting a group chat, body shaming her own best friend? She tried saving herself from everyone attacking her for it, yet Nessa still has her unfollowed. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? Hey guys, and welcome back to Spellplug. In today's video, we need to talk about Nessa Barrett getting exposed for body shaming her own best friend behind her back. Mads Lewis and Jaden Hustler breaking up and the Sway House getting major backlash for their new reality show. I'm honestly shocked that we're talking about Nessa Barrett and how many people believe that she recently took part into body shaming Mads Lewis since no one would have expected something like this to come out about Nessa since she constantly praises about body positivity, but also because no one would have ever expected this to happen between Nessa and Mads, since they've both come out to millions of people claiming they will always support each other as friends. I'm so proud of her, I just can't wait for her to like, you know, be like super super big. As y'all can tell from the title of today's video, it seems like things have obviously took a turn now after a group chat of Nessa's fan pages that Nessa was active in started to send messages making fun of Mads all over the group chat. And guys, the things that were said about Mads in this group chat were pretty disturbing to say the least. Must be for real as she's so ill, where is her boot? No, for real, what the f*** does Jaden spawn? They are smaller than my nine-year-old's boot. Now, while many people were shocked to see that Nessa was a part of this group chat and that she even messaged in this group chat beforehand, many people also couldn't believe that Nessa would support such a thing. Since we all know Nessa is one of the only many TikTokers that praises body positivity. It wasn't until people found out that after these messages had gotten leaked and after many people were bashing Nessa that men actually ended up unfollowing Nessa, which made this whole situation even more suspicious. The fact that Nessa saw the messages and didn't care is so messed up. She could have told her stands to leave Mads alone, but she didn't. Wasn't Nessa just crying about getting body shamed? Please. Now she does the same. She's with Josh Richards, the dude who never defends his friends. What did y'all expect? Breaks from ads. This is so rude. But it doesn't end there, you guys. Nessa herself decided to finally step forward since she was getting attacked like crazy all over the internet. And here's what she had to say. When I'm in a group chat, they add people that I follow in it or change me to admin, which takes it out of general so I can see it because it will send me notifications while I'm on Instagram. When I'm going through other people's stories and they blow up the group chat, it pops up on the top and I accidentally tap it and it takes me right to the group and shows I've seen it. When they see this scene, they spam me and I feel bad and answer real quickly. I don't have time to go through their messages and read them. I love my supporters so much and try to show as much love to them as possible, but I had no idea about the body shaming or hate page and it disgusts me that they would even think that was okay knowing what I go through myself. That's not something I stand for. Oh yeah, yeah. Not even a day later, Mads decided to come forward and let out all her anger by posting this video shading Nessa. After a ton of people thought this was extremely immature of Mads, thousands of people started making edits of Nessa and Mads' ex-boyfriend, Jaden. To which Mads ended up tweeting out, It's my fault for bringing all this drama to social media. Stop making edits of Jaden and Ness. We all have feelings. So childish. Just drop it like we did. I'm so sorry, but love to see your true colors finally show. Anywho, what do you guys think about this specific situation? Do you guys think 
it was just a coincidence or was Nessa intentionally supporting this group chat considering Mad still was her unfollow? While we're still on the topic of Mads Lewis, we need to talk about how this week seems to only be getting worse for the poor girl, since many fans have been worried that her and Jaden just had a huge fallout, and nobody really knows why. It all started when just yesterday, tons of people started to notice that Mads and Jaden had unfollowed each other on social media. And not only that, but Mads had even deleted her own pictures with Jaden, which was the final straw that left a lot of people to believe that they actually ended up breaking up. Mads and Jaden are really going through it. Jaden is always active and never posts a thing. And Mads keeps deleting posts. I need them to be okay. This makes me so sad. No book not trying to sound mean, but for real, y'all need to stop believing everything that is on the internet. If Jaden or Mad says or posts something on the internet that they broke up, then they didn't break up. They are probably pranking y'all. I don't know why y'all think they broke up, it's probably just to prank y'all for tomorrow, to be honest. Don't believe anything on the internet unless it comes from the person themselves. Do y'all think they're just pulling an April Fool's prank? Let me know in the comments. So like... Whatever happened to the Demilio reality show? Hey guys. guys, we are so excited to announce that we have because it looks like we have another reality show from our favorite TikTok boys. This <laughs> yeah, guys, the Sway Boys just recently decided to also jump on the bandwagon of making a reality show. Which, if I'm gonna be honest, you guys, I'm not sure if anyone is really going to watch, considering how much backlash they've been getting on just their announcement video. I'm not sure what's worse, frat boys or TikTokers who grew up emulating frat boy stereotypes and adapted them into the personality. The fact that they aren't talented or particularly good at anything makes it even worse. 3. More people with no entertaining qualities other than lack of brain cells getting a TV show. What's next? Everyone is starting their own damn reality show after Bretman started his, which then bled all over social media, but it's clear who leads and who follows. Literally Team 10 3.0, like, do they realize only 11 year olds care about them? But what do you guys think about the Sway House and the fact that they're starting a reality show? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. I love y'all so much, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.